Okay, so on the camshaft, usually on small four stroke engines, you will find a mechanism kind of like that right there. And if you're wondering what they do, well, actually, if you're watching this video, you are wondering what they do. But what they do are they, is it reduces compression on the initial start. And the reason for that is, is when you're starting an engine and you're pulling on the cord on a small engine, right? Uh, it builds up lots of compression at the start, and and you don't want to break the cord or pull your arm out every time you try to start that sucker up. So these things reduces the compression at the initial start all the time, uh, so it allows for easier start up. And wh how it does that is on the exhaust lobe. There's this little tab here and as the tap it goes around it brushes up against that tab and it opens the the lifter a little bit just to allow a little bit of the compression to uh, go out through the exhaust valve so it's easier to start um, and then once it does start up this weight here uh, as it rotates that weight is forced to the outside as it runs. So now that little tab is pulled back like that. See? It pulls itself back and it doesn't make contact with the lifter anymore and it gets its full compression. Um, so that, that's really all these systems are really. They look different. I mean this is one on a plastic uh, camshaft. It's from a smaller engine and it's a simpler design, but it does the same thing. It this this is the exhaust lobe, and it brushes the tab. It brushes up against that little uh, tab there, and it opens the valve just at the initial start. Um, usually, you find these in Briggs and Stratton more often than you would to come see. I don't know why. I think it's because the engines are becoming more and more advanced, but. That's really all they are. It's a simple little mechanism um, located on the camshaft, and that's what allows you to get uh, an easier start all the time. Um, so that's really it. That's it's a simple little system. They they're also really reliable because I've never seen one of these things go yet. Um, but if you are constantly losing compression. Um, and it's not the rings. Check out these things because sometimes they will get stuck like that uh, due to dirt buildup or something. So um, if if you run into a compression loss problem, make sure you check out the system too. Uh, you don't want to you want to make sure that it can open and close freely, just like that. Um, so that's it. That's all it really is. Simple little system. That's all there is to it. Well. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm JL. Please subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And I'll have more videos of how to and um, explaining things about engines that uh, people may have questions on. So thanks for watching and yeah, peace.